this is gonna divide opinion a little bit. To block it off, I've always put the spout on and put the bung on top of the spout. Other people put the bung inside there and then all of a sudden wonder why it's flooded the cupboard, why it's not empty in the washing machine. Perfect little tub. Honestly, 12 quid, get yourself some. Really handy. The mirror up tap it skip comes in because we've got to get up to... See if we can get onto that fitting. We was having the bath the other night and the water ended up going through the ceiling in the kitchen below. This overflow was just really loose. Because it was completely tiled in on the front, you've got no access at all to get in. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody that got behind the last video about the whole pricing thing and when I gave the woman a quote. I'll put a link up here if you haven't seen it. Um, it's it's gone massive. It's it's been shared by electricians, by plasterers, by builders, by chippies, because it's a, a real good insight on what us as tradespeople have to deal with from the customers from time to time. Not all customers. I've got brilliant ones out there that, you know, just let me crack on and they know, they trust me to, to, to price jobs right, to quote jobs right and know that I'm not going to rip them off. But there are ones out there that, you know, for whatever reason, they are a bit wary, but it's the way they come across. You'll see in that video, um, it's just the way her initial response was to it. But yeah, massive thanks for getting behind that, all the comments and everything like that. I also shared it on Facebook um, through a few of the plumbing uh, groups on there and again massive massive feedback on it and off the back of that we've had a load of new subscribers so to the new subscribers to this channel welcome aboard i am mark the channel is just my day in day out plumbing real world plumbing um showing it when it's right when it's wrong merchants everything really you know it's not specific about one certain thing so today's video is a little bit of a shorter one because i've had various things going on the tail end of this week that were out of my control so um we'll get into that one of them actually was from a viewer of the channel so shout out to paul um he he dropped me an email and i went and sorted some bits out for him and the other one is um our age old friend the uh, completely tiled in bathroom so hope you enjoy it hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel get subscribed and i shall catch you all on the next one. So, just got to a local job to me. The guy messaged me via email. He had seen the channel and um, he wanted me to come and do some work after he worked out that I was a local plumber to him. So, he's in the middle of selling the house. He just wanted to get some little bits sorted on the house. So, this job, every plumber will know these sort of, they're like something out of Super Mario, the amount of pipes and whatnot, but it's sort of the kit that comes with a lot of, you know, sort of Howden's kitchens or Ikea kitchens or whatever. But it's just, he's got a crack on it here. Now, to try and find a U-bend for that is an absolute nightmare. So I've picked up one of the McAlpine SK1 kits. So we're going to completely remove that from there and there, repipe it with the McAlpine kit, and then I've just been to the van to try and find a spike trap. And I must have used it recently because I knew I had one in there, unless I took it out when I cleaned my van out, which is a high chance I did. Just because off this SK1 kit, we've only got one um, outlet for obviously the dishwasher or washing machine. So we can put that into there, but we will have to get a trap to come off the bottom and then obviously connect into the waste. So we'll get this one off, get this new one on and sort the waste out. So this little flexi tub, it's been in a few more videos recently. I've only just bought it off Amazon, 12 quid, really handy. So we'll just undo all the fittings on here and we can whip it all out in one, to be fair, and just break it down. Um, whip that off. The waste off there. Get that waste off. And yeah, we'll just take this out and I'll show you exactly how I'm going to do it. Yeah. See, perfect little tub. Honestly, 12 quid, get yourself some. Really handy. So what we'll do, I'll just quickly mop this up now. I've got no washers, but obviously that's going to screw on there. This one will go this side. Obviously we've got to trim them down, but I'm just showing you. And then the junction will go in there, like so. This waste will go into that spike, and then we can come off the bottom with the trap when we go and get it. 
and then we'll alter the waist. So we've got the two joiners onto there. We've trimmed this one down, trim this one down, put the washer on, the nut, same again on there, like so. And then it's just a case of popping that onto there, like so. Tightening that up. And again, this side, I'll tighten them all up shortly. Sure, and then get them tightened up. Got that on there, like so. So that's that kit in, and as I said, we've obviously got that one from, I think it's the dishwasher, but that is the, the actual trap that comes with it. Now, obviously if we weren't having to connect that, it'd be absolutely fine, but we need another spout. So I'm going to fit a trap with a little spout on the side. I put a double spout in just in case they ever need the other one for whatever reason. And then we can connect that into the side of it. So just shut off to plumb base, picked up a double spike trap. Now the interesting thing with these is this is going to divide opinion a little bit. Now we only have to use one of the spikes on this trap. So we're gonna block off the other one. Now they come with these bungs. Now I have always, to block it off, I've always put the spout on and put the bung on top of the spout. For the reason being, the customer then knows that that's blocked off. Other people put the bung inside there and then put that on to lock it in. Now some homeowners wouldn't realise that's blocked off, then when they come to fit the spout, they'll pop that on, connect the washing machine, and then all of a sudden wonder why either the pipe's popped off and it's flooded the cupboard, or why it's not empty in the washing machine. So me, personally, I always put the bung on the outside of it. So you can see it's clearly been bunged out. So we'll get that one on, obviously keep one side bunged and the other side will be for that waste there. And then we'll look at what we've got to do to connect it into the waste pipe. So what's been handy with this one is this bit of the trap is telescopic to a degree. So we've been able to slide that down, put a street elbow on there, glued it up. Then all we've got to do is pop a couple out on there, connect that there and then just drop that down ever so slightly and it will marry up with that then hopefully that should be good as God. Because we've got that as a spare, we could have put that one in it or whatever, but at the minute it's going into there, it's not a problem. We've got that one running into there, so that's all good. So let's connect that up and let it dry, and we can give it a test. That's that connected up. While that's drying, the customer also said that this tap, the actual body of it here, and if you can see it's quite, yeah, quite loose. So this is where our friend the Murad Tapex kit comes in because we've got to get up to see if we can get onto that fitting up there. So let's get some extension bars out and get that tightened up. There we go. As always, that Tapex kit, that's solid now. That Tapex kit comes in so, so handy. So if you haven't got one, I know they're expensive, I say it all the time, they are dear and it put me off buying them to begin with, but after having one, it is one of those tools that you think, how the hell have I ever got by without it? But honestly, if you're in the market, jobbing around, doing things like tap changes and you know, tightening taps up and mixer blocks and baths and everything, they are worth the weight in gold, along with those little 12 pound buckets, colour coordinated buckets. There we go, tested, all sorted. Everything's fine there, waste connected back up. And obviously we've got a spare little spout, which I always leave, just leave it hanging in there, just in case they ever need to blank that side off or do whatever they need. You get all these fittings in the pack, so you may as well leave them with the customers because they're bound to need them at some point or other. So I'm gonna apologize for not covering this job from the start, but my GoPro has had a bit of a moment earlier on in the day and for some reason it just weren't recording properly so i thought i'd record it but i haven't so i'll quickly show you what we're doing here customer's got an inset bath as you can see now 
he was having a bath the other night and the water ended up going through the ceiling in the kitchen below. When I got here first thing, this overflow was just really loose. So I thought, right, we can take the front off, tighten it up. Hopefully it was that. That wasn't the issue. So because it was completely tiled in along the front, as everybody is well aware, you've got no access at all to get in. So I took the tile off the top first, hoping I'd be able to get my hand down, but obviously the batten in here, no chance of that. So I ended up taking the two tiles off the front. Luckily, they're not broken. So I've saved both them tiles. And this is what I was greeted with. The overflow it just popped off. So when they were running the bath and it was filling up the overflow, it was just literally pissing out of there. So all that, removing the tiles, all that sort of asshole, just to get to there. So what I'm gonna do is glue that on, on there, and it'll be absolutely fine. But obviously these look great when they're all tiled in and the sunken bath and all that sort of stuff. But if ever there's an issue, as everyone will be fully aware, same as this, this is all completely tiled in. So yeah, you can take the fascia off, get to the internals, but if ever there's a leak, similar to the job I showed you the other week, if ever there's an issue with the actual system, all them tiles have got to come off. So that's what we've got to do here. Um, I'll get my tiler in to try and sort this out. What I'll probably advise is maybe just come there, come there and maybe put some board in there, tile the board with a couple of little magnets on the outside and then that board can come on and off with the tiled front as and when it needs to. But luckily, I managed to save all the tiles. So yeah, we'll get that glued up and uh, get it all sorted and trim it out and show the customer what we've done to the bathroom. But yeah, that's what happens when you're tiling baths, toilets, basins. Just gotta think of the access, otherwise it is absolute carnage.